Good morning, this is Mike with Carlson Equipment and Software. Today we're going to walk through how to calibrate the BRX6 Plus tilt sensors. The first thing you're going to do is get your receiver set up to a fixed position. During the receiver setup process, on the receiver tab is a checkbox for Enable IMU. Go ahead and check that box and turn it on. Once you've completed that step, go to GPS Utilities Sensor Calibration. There are three steps on this process. Full sensor calibration is the one we're going to use. We're going to go through tilt calibration, magnetic spin, and directional incline. Go ahead and check the tilt calibration. And what this is going to do is calibrate the sensors in the head to the bubble on the pole. You want to make sure that you have a straight pole, so if you haven't checked it for a while, go ahead and check that before you begin. Hit the set zero. That has completed that calibration. Now we're going to go to step two, which is magnetic spin. You notice in your kit there is a quick attach, and there's also an angled bar. These two pieces are what we're going to use for this setup. So the first thing is start vertical or start horizontal. Since I'm already set up for the start horizontal, we're going to go ahead and start this process. Make sure your nut here is a little bit loosened up so it can spin easily. I'm going to go ahead and hit start horizontal. And just follow the on-screen prompts. It shows you the visual of what to do. We're just going to slowly turn this head. If you go too fast, that's okay. You go around maybe once or twice more to fill in all the plotting points. If you go slow, you'll have it completed in one turn. that step's completed. Now the horizontal is completed, we're going to add the bar onto the quick attach. Got a hole for the antenna. And there's a little notch right on the bottom there for this little metal bar right here, this little tab to stick into. Go ahead and tighten that up. Real time differential. Go ahead and hit start vertical. Start spinning. That step is completed. Go ahead and hit update calibration. This is calibration successful. calibration successful. So now step two has been completed for magnetic spin. Only last step is directional incline. We're going to go ahead and take off these additional attachments. When you go on to the next screen, you'll see that it says what your tilt height, I'm sorry, your um, rod height is set at. And that needs to match. So we're set at two meters, so we need to be back to a two meter height with the rod extended. I'm going to put the pole all the way up, facing us, so the screen, both screens line up together. We go ahead and hit directional incline. And you, as you can hear, we're not in a fixed position, so we're going to wait for this to get back to fixed before we start this process. All right, there we go. We're at a fixed position. I'm going to go ahead and I'm checking my bubble. Let's pull all the way up. We're going to tell it to start center again. That's completed. Now we go on to start incline. And it's going to tell you how far you're going to uh, incline, what your tilt direction is, and it tells you where you need to be. 
Okay, so it says we need to be between 25 and 35 degrees tilt, and we need to be in a tilt direction between 80 and 100. But we're going to go ahead and spin this around. Also, just a point to notice, we have a hub in the ground here with a drill hole to give us a very tight position for that tip of the pole there. Alright, so we are not quite where we need to be. progress bar is not completing, one of these three things is not correct. Whether it's your angle, your incline, or you might be moving is another thing to keep in mind too. Now we're going to go 260 and 280, just going to kind of move a little bit. Now this can be done without a bipod, but a bipod is definitely recommended. It keeps the receiver pole from bouncing. If that head has motion, it may kick out your results. Come back just a little bit. Half completed. Now this is the one step that if you are moving or there's too much wind, when you hit update calibration, in this case calibration successful, calibration but if it does not complete, you only need to repeat that last step of calibration. Uh, if you have any questions or you're going through this process and need some assistance, feel free to call me. Uh, our website is carlsones.com. My number 904-536-0470. You can always email me at michael.gosman, G-A-S-S-M-A-N, at carlsones.com.